G'day, this is Scotty Tucker. Uh, here today talking about the, the uh, Matala air diffusers. Uh, these are supplied either just as a disc as they are, or also as you'll see on these bases, which are good for ponds, deeper ponds, and also uh, lakes and dams. Now, these uh, little EPDM rubber disc membranes have got thousands and thousands of little slits. And what happens when air is, uh, is injected into these, they'll open up slightly and millions of little micro bubbles are released. And as those bubbles rise up through the surface, they get larger and they drag up all the water that's on the bottom up to the top and then um, upwelling uh, flow motion. So they're kind of like blowing up like a balloon. I don't know if you can see this. That's effectively what you're doing there. Uh, releasing the air. To feed the air in, in dams and ponds we use a self-weighted air hose which is very thick walled so there's nothing floating around in the water. It's very important for aesthetics because uh, you don't want to have spaghetti looking like hose floating around in your, in your dam or pond, it doesn't look very good. Now with regards to these uh, diffusers when they're used on a base, so when you're not using it on a base you can hook these up to standard PVC uh, fittings. This is a, a three quarter inch threaded fitting. So if you're running PVC pipe and you want to manifold these off, you can do so on your own. But in pond situations, it's much, much easier in dams to use the, uh, the base. So if you're going with a single diffuser disc, you can see there's this black plastic base here. Right there is a little plug. So you just pop that up and you fill that up with stone, gravel, whatever it is that you want to use to, to weigh it down in the dam. And this little fitting here, comes with the unit, that screws onto there, onto the diffuser disc, that just sits on top of there and there would normally be a fitting that you screw in to keep that down. So that's your sort of stock standard single diffuser disc. When you're using this sort of setup in a, uh, in a dam that's maybe old and mature or you know that you've got a lot of sludge or mud on the bottom, what you do is you get a, uh, a little riser which you then put in between there and there so the disc just sits on the riser. That just sits on like so, and that gets it up more out of the muck than what the standard one does. So the standard one does keep it up out of the muck itself. You can see it's quite uh, thick in terms of the, the height that it gets up, up above the bottom, but this also just lifts it up even further. Now, it's important to mention too, when you do drop these into uh, dirty, sludgy, mucky dams, people sort of say, well, I'm just gonna stir all that up and the water's gonna look horrible and all unsightly. That's unlikely. In the majority of cases, if that does happen, it's very, very short and it's only in the localised area. And the reason for that is that as the air rises up, although it drags the water up around from a, a quite a large area surrounding it, it does it somewhat slow, slowly and slightly, so it's not like a violent upflow. So it's not as if you're gonna stir up all the muck and stir it uh, into the water. So you don't necessarily need to, uh, to be too, too concerned about that. Now, the design of these uh, diffuser bases is, is, is quite uh, inventive or quite, uh, quite a good design. So that's your single disc setup. You also can have a twin disc setup. So again, in dams where you want to have more than one, uh, more than one disc because you want to have a larger compressor, you want to get more airflow going up, this is the setup for in a dam. Two discs running off the one single uh, bake air station base. Uh, if you've got a pond situation where you don't need the depth and you want to have a twin disc set up, this is effectively how that would look. So that would be the two discs sitting side by side. But with the shallower for the shallower water, shallower set, set up for the shallower water. Now the other setup that you can do as well, again going into much larger situations now, so in, in bigger dams, and again, you've got more air going through, so you wanna have more air being distributed through four discs, is you keep this same sort of setup, and you have the twin disc here, and then you would simply mount those two to the same one here, and you would effectively have four diffusers running off one air station. So it's quite a well thought out, well designed unit, uh, from single disc shallow water, single disc deeper water, or muck on the bottom, twin discs for dams, twin discs for pond, ponds, or also quad discs for, for larger dams. So quite a unique, well thought out, great design. And just to avoid any confusion, the bricks that you see in the video are just there as a temporary installation, so we didn't have to muck around putting in the, the uh, rocks and gravel into the actual air station itself. So when you use them, there are no bricks necessary.